At our Saturday night movie marathons, my anxiety like always is the Grinch who stole a good time. She tweets hashtag forever alone, hashtag single ladies of the future, hashtag what's good Beyonce, hashtag the sky is falling, hashtag apocalypse Monday, hashtag this is the end. But we are too hypnotized by the Hatter's eyes to notice anything else. Alice, have I gone mad? His kaleidoscope eyes frozen in high definition, his unanswered question has found its way into the cracks and crevices of our home. Suddenly, we are Jack and Rose. This sofa has no room to keep us both afloat. Tell me what is racing through your mind, you say. I'm thinking of butterflies and ponies and how puppies are just so squishy. I'm thinking if the force was ever with us. I'm thinking how the odds were never in our favor. I'm thinking if my reasons sound like a monthly new flavor. You say, tell me about your anxiety. One, it crawled out of my nightmares like the girl from The Ring. Two, it sounds like Morgan Freeman on the good days and Golem on the bad days. Three, it looks like watching Friends, but with no friends. Four, it feels like winter is always coming. Five, I am the human embodiment of a meme. Exams triggered, argument triggered, wake up triggered, go to bed triggered, try to live triggered. Six, it stays under the covers and holds me down the mornings when dreams fail to take me to Neverland. You are silent. Say something. You say breathe. Say something. Your silence feels like deja vu, like Hachiko with no master, like no one to hold the door, like Marley's last walk, like the final credits with no sequel after. How can I help, you say? Let's go back to the good old days, back to when dad chased away the skeletons under the bed. Now I find them behind closets and behind smiling faces. Be my Peter Pan and inside tree houses or pillow forts to the beat of a sky full of stars. We will paint closed eyelids with the colors of the galaxy and when nightmares come to scare away my dreams and the magic inside of me, our infinite universes will keep them at bay. Before you think you can be my savior, remember, my body grew a cape in pace of a backbone. I am no jigsaw in need of fixing. I am no story in need of owing, and I am no damsel in need of saving. So lock away the knight in shining armor. Put away your, clo your spell book and fold up your cape and listen. I don't need a Batman, a Superman, a He-Man or a U-Man to save me. So listen to me without bias. Love me without limits and look at me beyond this illness. But tomorrow I may forget to breathe and the sky will actually fall. It will find its way back to under the covers. It will snuggle itself between our dreaming eyes and you will wake up to this reality again. And as much as I try to explain, there will come a time when you will not want to hear from me again. And there will be days when this may seem like a crowd. But remember, you are the hair gel to my Edward. You are the hatter to my madness. You are the magic in my Neverland. You are the wardrobe to my Narnia. You are the prim to my Katniss. That is to say that my anxiety is not my choice. But you are my choice and I am my choice every time. And when we are 50, I will read this poem and I will find the girl with a war in her eyes. And she will ask me after all this time, and I will say, always, you are silent. Say something. You say, breathe. Have I gone mad? I say. You have gone completely bonkers. You say. But want to know a secret? All the best people are.